Another time, Nasruddin Hoja was invited to a great banquet. Instead of stopping to dress up, he went in his everyday, well-worn, some would even say scruffy, clothes. When he arrived, the doorman, seeing the Hoja in his shabby coat, had him seated in a dark corner of the great hall, far away from the banquet table and the important people, a place where he would not be noticed. And indeed, no one paid any attention to him, not even the waiters serving the food. The Hoja sat, waiting and waiting, growing more and more hungry. Finally, he got up unnoticed and went home. He took off his everyday clothes and changed into his best clothes, a magnificent turban, a fine silk cloak, and a large fur coat, and returned to the banquet. This time, the doorman greeted him warmly and announced his arrival. He was welcomed as an important visitor with a drum roll and the sounding of trumpets. The hoja was then taken to be seated at the front of the hall, right by the host, who had a plate of the most wonderful delicacies placed before his guest. Instead of eating, Nasruddin Hoja scooped up handfuls of the delicious food and began stuffing the pockets of his fur coat and silk cloak. His host was stunned. Effendi, what are you doing? Nasruddin Hoja replied, Earlier, when I came in my everyday clothes, I was ignored and served no food. But now, in my fine silk cloak and fur coat, I am treated like a king. Clearly, it is not me, the man inside, who is welcome at your banquet, but my clothes. So then, don't you think my clothes should be the ones to eat? <laughs> <laughs>